Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. To start things off, I want to say thank you for the well wishes. I'm feeling much better, and I'm ready to get back at it with more crochet goodness. Here I wanted to get a jump start on some spring looks, so I went with a lightweight fell sleeve sweater. It's ultra comfy, and while it is flowy, there's thicker straps to wear a bra so we can keep the girls up. If that sounds good to you, be sure to hit that like button. Go and make my day and let the fine folks over at YouTube know you're enjoying the content. With that out of the way, I'll leave you to the video. So without further ado, for this project, any category three yarn will work. I used a total of 250 grams of yarn. That's 700 yards if you're stateside. Master tools, a four and a six and a half millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using four stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet and double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4 millimeter hook and start off by making a chain the height that we want our band to be. I want mine to be about 2 inches or 5 centimeters, so that's going to be a chain of 12. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of 3. That's our turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a double crochet, then insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off for the fourth chain from our hook. We're going to insert, yarn over, Pull through, you should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do this one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Put one double crochet into every chain. We've put one double crochet into every chain, and now we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. So chain one, and flip our work. From here, we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, or that first stitches loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. A quick tip to make this a little bit easier is try not to pull as tightly as you can, because the next row may be a little bit difficult to get into those stitches. Let's do the next one into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We've made it to the end of our row two, which is our back loop slip stitch row, and we're now going to go back to a double crochet row, but they're now all going to be in the back loops. So start with a chain of three. This is our turning chain. Go ahead and flip your work. Yarn over and then insert your hook into that first back loop with a double crochet. Let's do one more. Yarn over, insert into that back loop with a double crochet. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain of one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We're going to continue with our two previous rows until this reaches around our shoulders and I'll meet you back after a double crochet row. I now have my shoulder band. Mine is a total of 31 inches or 79 centimeters and I have 103 rows. Now we're going to single crochet along the bottom and connect our corners as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, meaning the ribbing that we have is faced up towards us. We're going to curve it around and then make sure that our hook is at this bottom corner. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the back panel's corner stitch, yarn over, and pull through. 
We're going to work along this edge first. So we're going to start by doing two single crochets into every side double crochet row for the same amount of stitches that we have for the back panel. So let's do the first. Into my first side double crochet row, I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch and then also into the first stitch into the back panel. From here, I'm going to single crochet. Now let's do the next. My second single crochet is going to be inserted into that same side double crochet row and then into that next available stitch into the back panel. So insert and then single crochet. Let's do the next set. So we're going to skip over this side slip stitch row, insert your hook into that next side double crochet, and then into that next stitch into the back panel with one single crochet. And then one more single crochet into the same side double crochet row. So insert, insert into that next stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet. We're going to continue this for the same amount of stitches that we have for the back panel, and then I'll meet you back. Now that I've single crocheted along this side, combining my front and back panel, I don't have any more stitches into my back panel to work into. So continue to put two single crochet into every side double crochet row, making our way all the way around until we have the same amount of side rows as we need for our front panel. So I will meet you back when I have six side double crochet rows left. I've single crocheted my way all the way around and I have one, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets left. We're now going to combine it with our front panel. So inserting our hook into the first stitch into our front panel, and then into my next available side double crochet, I'm going to insert with one single crochet. Into my next stitch, into my front panel, I'm going to insert my hook, and then into that same side double crochet because so we're putting two single crochets into each side double another single crochet let's do this again insert my hook into that next stitch now working into that next side double crochet there's one next stitch into the front panel and then into that same side double crochet there is two we're going to keep doing this until we reach the corner stitch when we don't have any more stitches left do a chain up of one and cut all right, now that our single crochet row is all done, we're now going to separate our front and back panel by inserting our stitch markers into the band on either side of our underarm. So we're also making space for our armholes as well. The only tip I have for you is to make it even along both sides of our point because we don't want one side to be longer than the other. So for me, for my middle point, I inserted my stitch markers into the 25th and 34th stitch marker on either side of my point. And now that I have that sectioned off, I'm ready to get started with my body. So getting our body started, we're going to grab our same category three yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our six and a half millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. I want mine to be 16 inches or 41 centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 55. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. This counts as our turning chain. We're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Then into the chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a half double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through three. Let's do one more. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, and pull through three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain until we have just one left. Now that we've made our way down to our last chain, we're going to do our first increase together. So into that last chain, we're going to yarn over and insert with one half double crochet, and then into that same last chain, our second half double crochet. That is our increase. 
And from here, we're going to switch to a back loop single crochet row. So chain one, flip your work, and we are going to increase into this single crochet row as well, only into this side because the bottom is going to stay blunt. So insert your hook into that first back loop with one single crochet, into that same back loop with our second single crochet, and that is our increase. From here, put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. And now that we're at the end of our single crochet row, we're going to do another half double crochet row, but now it's going to be in through the back loops. So chain two, flip your work, yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, and half double crochet. Yarn over into that next back loop, and double crochet. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while increasing into the last stitch. When you reach that last stitch, do a chain one, flip your work, and then start with an increase of two back loop single crochets and then single crochet in the back loops, making our way all the way down. This is going to be where the width of our piece comes from. So if you need a larger size, continue with our two previous rows till this reaches where our stitch marker is on our band, making sure that we meet back and our increase side. I finished my underarm portion and I have a total of nine rows and that's three inches or eight centimeters. I ended along the increase side and now I can attach it to our band. So working into the band may be a little tight since we are working with a six and a half millimeter hook, but it shouldn't be that bad. But what we're gonna do is first insert our hook into the stitch marker that we have that's nearest to our point on one of the sides. It doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna insert my hook into here. I'm gonna yarn over pull through everything to secure our underarm portion to the body. And now from here, we're gonna to work towards our point by slip stitching into that next stitch and continuing on with our sequence. Now working our way down, it's a single crochet row. So I'm going to slip stitch into there and flip my work. Working our way down, we're going to do a decrease of two single crochets as well. So let's do that together. We're gonna to insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, so we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Continue to put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain of two, flip your work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, coming all the way up to the base. And then I'll show you guys how to attach it into the base one more time. We've made our way all the way back up with our half double crochet row, and now we're going to slip stitch it into the next available stitch. We've made our way all back up with our half double crochet row, and now we're going to connect it into the base. So connecting our half double crochet row, we're going to count up one, two stitches, we're going to slip stitch, into that second stitch and now our half double crochet row is all finished and we are going to go back to doing a back loop single crochet row because we are alternating so only slip stitch into that next stitch and flip our work and into our single crochet rows we are doing a decrease so let's do that together insert your hook into that first available back loop pull through that next back loop pull through yarn over pull through three and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. We're gonna keep repeating these two rows until we reach the point of our band and then I will meet you guys back. I've made my way all the way down to the middle of my collar. From here, I'm gonna work my way up to my next stitch marker, but instead of doing decreases into the single crochet row, we're going to do increases. So let's do the next row. I ended along the top. If you guys ended along the bottom, that's totally fine. Just work your way all the way up with the same stitch that we ended on because we're going to mirror everything on this side. My last row that I had right here was a half double crochet row. So along the side, I'm going to slip stitch into the next two stitches, going up the other side of my point. So here is one, And then here is two. Flip my work. And from here, I'm going to put one half double crochet into every stitch because that was the last row that I had for the decrease side. I'm going to do a chain up of one, 
flip my work and then put one single crochet into every stitch, leaving the last stitch nearest to the base so that we can increase together. We're now on our second increase row. I have brought my way up, I made my way up, putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch. I have one stitch left, so let's do our single crochet increase together. I'm gonna insert your hook into that last back loop with one, and then into that same back loop with two single crochet. Now to connect it into the base, we're going to slip stitch into that next available stitch to close off our single crochet row. And to work our way up to our next row, which is a back loop half double crochet row, no increases, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches because we need that height. We're going to flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we are going to repeat these two rows working our way up until we reach our next stitch marker and then I'll meet you guys back. So we have made our way all the way up to our first stitch marker and now we're going to do the same amount of rows as this underarm portion that we started off with. So just to show you guys how we're going to get it started, we're going to do a chain two. Flip our work and start with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So to get that started, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through, should have four loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And then we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch for the rest of this row. Our next row is a back loop single crochet row. So put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two so that we can do a decrease of two together and then I'll let you guys get on with the rest on your own. I've made my way all the way back up with my back loop single crochets and we're gonna decrease together just one more time. So I've left two stitches from our previous row. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that second to last back loop. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, and then also into that last back loop, yarn over, and pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. From here, you guys already know the drill. We're gonna switch back out to our back loop half double crochet row. And we're gonna start this row with a decrease as well. So since we're here, we're gonna do this one more time. To a chain up of two, flip your work. We're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through. Yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. We're gonna put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, do a row of back loop single crochets with a decrease of two at the end, and we're gonna repeat those two rows for the same amount of underarm rows as we have for the other side, and then I will meet you guys back. We have just finished the entirety of our front panel, and now we're going to do our back. And the back is going to start the same exact way. So we're going to make the same chain count and same amount of rows as our front panel's underarm, and then I will meet you guys back just to show you guys where we're going to insert our underarm portion for the back. So we are back, and we now have the underarm portion for the back all finished. From here, we're going to insert our hook into that next stitch marker that we have, going along the back. So we are going to have a little gap in between our stitch markers for our armhole, but we'll get to that in a little bit. What we're going to do from here is just like before, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And then from here, we're going to connect it into the base the same way that we did as the front panel, but with no increases or decreases. So from here, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch, and since we ended on a half double crochet row, our next row is going to be a back loop single crochet row. So flip your work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip your work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and I'll meet you back to connect it into the base together one more time. We made our way all the way up with our second row of our back panel, and now we're going to connect it into the base. So since this is a half double crochet row, we're going to count one, count two, slip stitch into that second stitch to close off this row. And just to start the next one, slip stitch up just one stitch, flip your work, and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And repeat these two rows all the way down until we reach our next stitch marker. I'll meet you guys back. 
I made my way all the way across with my back portion and now we're going to finish this by doing the same underarm that we did for the front panel. So just to talk you guys through it, we all should have ended along the bottom. We're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and then decrease into the last two stitches. The next row is going to be a single crochet row with decreases along the top as well. We're going to do the same amount of rows as we have for the front panel and then I will meet you guys back. I've just finished doing the entirety of my back panel and now we are ready to seam it. So the first thing we're going to do is flip our work inside out so that the ribbing that we have for the band is along the inside. Now that our band is flipped, we're going to insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch, into the front panel, and also into the bottom corner stitch, into the back panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through both, and do a chain of a one to secure. And from here, we're going to do a single crochet seam, making our way all the way up. So let's do the first one together. Into that first available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, and then into that next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and then single crochet. Let's do one more. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, and then into that next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and then single crochet. Continue to do this, making our way all the way up until we don't have any more underarm stitches left to go into. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We finished seaming our front and back panel together, and now we're going to get started on our sleeve. So we're first going to start by inserting our hook into the stitch that's nearest to our side seam. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through and do a chain up of one. From here, we're going to put one single crochet into every side row that we have. Since I have a total of nine rows right here, I'm going to start by inserting my hook into that first side row with one single crochet. My next side row is a single crochet row, so I'm going to insert my hook into there with another single crochet. I'm going to keep working my way all the way up until I have a total of nine single crochets. Now that I have my single crochets, I'm now going to work into the stitches that I have into the band. I'm just going to be putting one single crochet into there. So inserting your hook into that first available stitch, I insert my hook into there with one single crochet. And continue to put one single crochet into each of these stitches. When you reach the end of our band, continue to put one single crochet into every side row, then slip stitch into that chain one space. Now that we've made our way all the way around, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So just to do the first one, I'm going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, and half double crochet. I'll meet you back when we don't have any more stitches left to show you where we're going to slip stitch and how to start our next row. And now that we've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we're now going to slip stitch into that second chain that we made when we started off this row to close it off. So we're going to count up one, count up two, slip stitch into there. And then from here, just like the body, we're going to be alternating between a back loop half double and back loop single crochet row. So do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And we're going to keep repeating those two rows with no increases and no decreases until this reaches right where you want the bell sleeve to start. So I'm going to meet you guys back at around my elbow right after a single crochet row. So I have made my way all the way down to my elbow. I ended on a single crochet row and now we're ready to get started on our bell sleeve. Just to let you guys know, I have a total of 27 rows. And for my 28th row, I'm going to start that by doing a chain of two and flip our work. We're all going to start by doing a total of seven back loop half double crochets and then an increase into the eight. So yarn over, insert into that first back loop, pull through. I'll meet you back when we have a total of seven. Now that I have my seven back loop half double crochets into that eighth stitch, I'm going to do an increase. So there's one and then into that same eighth stitch. There's my second half double crochet and that is my increase. We're going to continue this sequence all the way around for this row. So another seven back loop half double crochets and then an increase. Once we have that, slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain up of one, 
flip your work and then one back loop single crochet into every stitch. So for every half double crochet row that we have, we're going to be doing seven half double crochet and then an increase into the eight. And that is it. We're going to continue on with that increase all the way down until we get the length of the sleeve that we want. And then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I am back with the entire length of my sleeve. I have a total of 52 rows and I did do a chain up of one and cut. And from here, we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. And then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have both of our sleeves done, we are now getting ready to start our bottom band. So we're going to take our same six and a half millimeter hook and we're going to start by doing a single crochet row along the bottom. So insert your hook into any one of our bottom rows. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one. From here, we're going to put one single crochet into every side row that we have. So to get that started, my first side row is this side half double crochet row. I'm going to insert my hook with one single crochet into my next side row, which is a single crochet. I'm going to single crochet into there. And I'm going to repeat this, making my way all the way around and slip stitch into that chain one space. And then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we've single crocheted all the way around, we're going to do one more back loop single crochet row. So we're going to do a chain of one. Insert your hook into that first back loop with a single crochet. Into that next back loop, a single crochet. And we're going to continue to do this all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I will meet you back to finish up our band. Now that we have single crocheted along the bottom, we are now going to finish this up by doing our strap. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our stitch markers right where we want our straps to be. If you guys want to know my numbers, I have inserted my stitch markers into the ninth double crochet stitch along the front, and that is just counting the double crochet stitches, not the slip stitches. And then continuing around, I've inserted my stitch markers into the 20th as well. And I did that on both sides so that it's nice and even. Once we have that, we're going to start on the front panel, but we're going to flip it around because our first row is going to be a single crochet row and then a double crochet row. And we're doing it that way so that we can get the ribbing along the outside. So we're going to flip our work around, making sure that our work is flipped right side out and right side up. I'm going to insert my hook right where my stitch marker is. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook. I'm going to pull through, take my stitch marker out, do a chain up of one. And I want my strap to be about an inch and a half or four centimeters. So I'm going to do a total of six single crochets. I'm going to do that by inserting my hook into that side slip stitch row that we have right here with one single crochet. So there's my first, two single crochet into my side double crochet. So there's one, there's two, into my next side slip stitch row, I'm going to insert my hook with one single crochet. And then into that next stitch, two single crochets into that side double for a total of six single crochets. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of three, that's our turning chain, and flip our work. I'm going to put one double crochet into every stitch that I have. So insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Continue with one double crochet into every stitch. Now that we've put one double crochet into every stitch, we're going to chain one, and just like for our band, flip our work. And then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain of three, flip your work, and then put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. And keep alternating between those two rows until the strap reaches up and over our shoulder. And we'll meet you back so that we can seam it to the back. All right, so I am back and I now have my shoulder strap. I have a total of 18 rows and this is six inches or 15 centimeters. And now I'm ready to seam it to the back. So what I did is 
inserted my hook into the stitch marker that I had into the back panel. I'm going to take my strap and then from here I'm going to lay it right where I want it to be on my band. Then I'm going to continue to flip it so that it forms a coil like this to make sure that our seam is along the inside. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're going to single crochet into the strap and into the band at the same time. So we're going to insert our hook into first stitch into the strap and next stitch into the band and single crochet. Next stitch into the strap, next stitch into the band, and single crochet. We're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. And now that we have just finished both of our straps, we are all done. The last thing we're going to do is weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in, and our trendy bell sleeve top is all finished. This cute and whimsy crochet top was super fun to make. My favorite part about this top is the band and the straps. I will always love a top with sturdy and chunky straps to hide my bra strap. If y'all agree, please hit that like button. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCTDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your favorite spring color is. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Our links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to fit for the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.